Hello everyone and welcome to the Brandon Breakdown on this Friday, November 16th, 2012. And I am doing this vlog, as you can very plainly see, from my room at home. I am not at college and if you <clears throat> if you find it hard to hear me, it's not just me talking quietly like usual. I am pretty sick and mostly just sneezing and coughing and sniffling, you know, cold. Fucking of course. Of course I got a cold. But, uh... <coughs> sorry. And, yeah. I'm uh, back for Thanksgiving break, which is a week long, so I got my PlayStation, my TV, and my computer. You know, all the essentials. <laughs> you know, and some clothes, too. I brought some clothes, just in case. But, um, mostly just entertainment shit, but, uh... It's been a while since I made another vlog. It was Halloween, and I made the last one, which is... Really, that was only a couple weeks ago, so compared to my other large gaps, that was pretty much the day after I'm doing this one. And the reason I'm doing this one is because I wanted to do a Black Ops 2 review, Call of Duty. And uh, last year, I did a Modern Warfare 3 review, <clears throat> like, the day after I got it. I, I did a video, I think, before I went to the midnight launch. And then I did a video after. And then I think I did a video later on mentioning how I felt about it. And I think I gave it a pretty good score. Which is... You know, I mean, it's to expect. Like, I, I'm i having fun with this game. I do enjoy it. But that is partly due to the fact that it just came out. <laughs> I guarantee you within, like, two months. If I give this game, like... I, I give this game right now... For gameplay-wise, I give it, like, an 8.5. I do enjoy Call of Duty. It's fun. I mean, it has its flaws. But I I have fun playing it. Probably 65% of the time, I get pissed off 45% of the time. Those are great odds, right? But the connectivity of this, if I was to grade this game on completeness and functionality, I'd get, have to give it, like, a 3 or 4 out of 10. Simply because every Call of Duty since about Modern Warfare 2, when it's come out, has experienced some sort of connectivity issues. Uh, I remember not being able to get online in Modern Warfare 2 for the first couple days. I remember um, Black Ops, you couldn't uh, connect to your friends. And in Modern Warfare 3, you couldn't connect to your friends, like, for the first few days, like, Tardy. And that's to be expected. There's always, like, trouble with connectivity and shit. And, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, this is only, game has only been out for three days. It's Friday. It came out Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And <clears throat> so... I'm giving them a chance. They say on their message of the day that there's a patch heading to PS3, and uh, some of these issues. They they uh, I check Twitter. I check David David Von Dehar, Von Dehar on Twitter, and he's always filling in on us with updates, which I appreciate. I would rather that be that instead of them just not saying anything at all and not acknowledging the fact that their game is fucking up. And so yeah, right now this game sits at if if I am averaging together gameplay. With functionality, it's sitting somewhere around a 5, 6 <laughs> range, but I'm hoping they get that connectivity up and running. I haven't played the campaign yet. I jumped right into multiplayer a couple days ago, and I've been playing that with my online friends. And Zombies is pretty fun. It's a lot different than the other Zombies modes from World at War and Black Ops, which I kind of like. I'm looking forward to spending more time with that. And I've been hearing lots of weird uh, opinions about the campaign, so I'm looking forward to trying that out this week. So yeah, pretty much, I went to the midnight launch again like usual, but this time I had to go in the town <laughs> that the college, my college is in. <coughs> I don't know why I could have Call of Duty couldn't have come out this week, I could have come to my GameStop for this, but no, I had to transfer my pre-order over there, so I'd go grab it at midnight. And I got there, oh, like three hours before they started, like, lining up to hand out the games, and I ended up getting number 157. 157? That's horseshit. For Modern Warfare 3, I was 8th in the line. I think I mentioned that in my videos from before. I was 8th. And now I'm 149 spaces farther back. <laughs> I was so pissed. And then I just dicked around until the time the game came out. And this is probably why I'm sick. Because <coughs> it was pretty cold and windy and rainy. And of course, I'm like, hey, I'm getting my game at midnight. I'm an idiot. So uh, I'm standing outside. and the... It wasn't raining at the time, but it was very cold and windy. And I'm sitting there surrounded by nerds. I consider myself a nerd. And they're all just, like, talking about the game. Just like, shut up. Quit talking about the thing that you're going to be spending the next, like, six weeks playing, you fucking 
assholes. And they're, like, t telling me shit, like, hey, did you know that? No, I don't know shit about this game. I didn't watch any trailers. I didn't watch anything. I don't know anything about this game. Don't fucking say shit around me. I want to learn it for myself. I pretty much kept myself in the dark on this entire game. The only thing I knew was that there was something called a pick 10 system instead of your usual perk system, and that it was set in the future. That was pretty much all I knew about Black Ops 2. And so far, I'm having a great time with the multiplayer, aside from the <coughs> horrid connectivity. Again, I apologize for the coughing. <coughs> so yeah, it's sitting at like a 6 right now, but I'll uh, bump up the entire score up to that 8.5 8 if they uh, fix it, which is yet to be seen. I don't know. Having a lot of fucking issues, just not being able to get in matches, not being able to connect to friends properly, shit not loading right, which... Like I said, I give it a week. I'm going to give it a week, and if they don't start, like, if there's not a patch, definitely within uh, a week of that coming out, then I, I don't even know. I'll probably just quit playing until they fix it. If they fix it, if they don't fix it, I'm going to quit playing. So that's pretty much it. I'll have more to say on this, possibly, when I play the campaign. But uh, that's uh, it for now, so shut up, hoot, and I hope to see you next time.